come into the dream where I told you to run so we both be free. Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be if we met at me. I love sitting across the table from <laughs> a, f a fellow Atlantan. Wes, how you doing, my man? Great, great. Are, is it weird filming in your hometown or doing things in your hometown for your job because knowing that you've grown up here and you've, uh, I mean, you've lived your whole life here, maybe done things like, you know, uh, that kids do and kind of act in a fool sometimes. <laughs> now you're back and you're like, man. It's very weird. Uh, because I have so, even when I, when I arrive at the airport and then my family's not there to pick me up and it's a, a driver to take me to the hotel to stay in Atlanta. Yeah. It's very weird, uh, and getting up and going to work here in Atlanta, be, my family life and my personal life is so separate because I moved away in LA for such a long, uh, for years ago, yeah. that it's it's almost two different worlds, and so this is a situation where the worlds collide, um, and it's, it's, it's really bizarre. Yeah, how many times have you been to Atlanta Braves game? Not. Re what? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know they're going to tear down the stadium yeah, next year. I know, I know, I know. But I, well, when I was here uh, last time, I didn't. There was no time. There was no time to go to the game. So yeah, Man, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So to walk us through the first time you saw somebody on a movie or a TV show, and you're like, I got to do that. I, I mean, ever since I could remember, I, I don't necessarily knew that it was was acting that mm -hmm. was going to be, but I knew I wanted to be a part of that process. Ever since I can remember watching movies, I was obsessed with it, and. Uh, <laughs> I remember uh, even the movies like Labyrinth or Star Wars. I was a huge Star Wars fan. Huge Star Labyrinth. Wars fan. Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you excited? I'm so excited for the new movie. <laughs> but and when I was, uh, you know, so I was always obsessed with story. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to be a part of telling stories. And specifically movies and film and, and television really captured me. So, um, and I got exposed to theater later. Um, when I was older, uh, so movies and, and that has always been my first love. I love theater too. I love all forms of storytelling. So I knew I wanted to be a part of that world. I just didn't know how it was going to really translate. How supportive was your family of this career? Because this can be one of those careers that you you can either be really great at or never even get that shot. You know, I I got I mean to I think if it wasn't for their support, complete and total unconditional support from the very beginning, uh, you know I don't I don't. They gave me the energy and to stick with it. So um, I think uh, it's it's really special to be able to share this moment and to be here in Atlanta, my hometown, with a family that's always believed in you, and it's it's really a, a great moment. Did your family ever get to like come out to like the set or anything? You're like, this is my cool job. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think w w the highlights of my uh, life, um, other than getting married and my my son, was my me and my dad when we grew up. We were obsessed with Clint Eastwood. We watched every one of his movies. So he got to come to the premiere and meet, and we had a beer with Clint Eastwood. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. And that, that was... What a was, story to yeah, tell. Oh, my it gosh. Was, and my dad was like, <laughs> this is Clint Eastwood. <laughs> we spent our whole lives watching him growing up and, and idolizing him, and to be able to sit and hang out with Clint Eastwood. With That's dad, so cool. Yeah, it was, it was a great moment. So we get to see uh, Mockingjay Part 2 yesterday, and it is an intense film. Yeah, it's like one of the most intense movies we've ever seen. Talk about... Filming how intense it is to, to uh, not only keep up with lines or key to keep up with y your character, but the physical aspect of it. Because I don't, I'm not sure. It, it looks like a workout, really. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, for instance, when we shot in the sewers, um, that was three weeks of being in the sewers. So you're three weeks of punched oh over. My Ew. I, you can't stand <laughs> up all the way. Uh, yeah. You know, all, and 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 you're running. You know, squatting down. So after a while. Being in a dark sewer, <laughs> yeah. you know, it weighs on you. But you know, just we were, everybody was so excited to be a part of this thing, and you have so much motivation from the fans and support and energy that it wasn't really. Every day was a lot of fun. It was fun to be a part of. It. What is there? Is there one uh, actor or actress on set that you learn something from to kind of take with your craft? Or maybe you, they do something some way, and you're like, yeah, let me try that. Is there somebody that, that you really, I don't know, admire on the set? I think every actor and actress that I work with, I always learn something from them, even sometimes when it's learning not what, and what not to do and how not to behave on set. But um, for instance, I think with uh, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, um, when I worked with him for the first time, uh, I learned so much from him. But one of the things I learned is that Every take, every scene, he's incredibly present, and he res 
responds to whatever happens in that moment, even if it leaves from the, like he won't leave the truth of the scene. So even if it leads to saying different things, or right. going a different path, he always stays to the listening, connecting, and the truth of everything. So, um, uh, and every take with him is different. Do it 18, 25, 35 times, it is gonna be lived like it's the first time. So I really learned a lot by working with him. Wes, we appreciate you being on the Adam Bomb Show. We want to know um, if you're going to get fried food or barbecue while you're back home. Barbecue. Uh, yeah? Yes. Yeah, huge barbecue. We eat so much barbecue. It, yeah. We're keeping the barbecue. Once a week, we do it on, on a Friday. At Friday. Least. You know, my brother, to do a little shout out, he, <laughs> he's a barbecue master. He, he created this thing called Smoking Butts Barbecue. Oh, yeah? I have like a little food truck. Yeah, it's, it's in the process right now. So What a great oh, idea. We though. are going to yeah. have to check yeah, that out. We would yeah, follow sure. around. <laughs> As soon as, uh, as soon as that's going, I, I'll let you. It's a local little barbecue. Oh my, <laughs> we will 100% go. We eat yeah. so much barbecue. You guys support it. <laughs> no, oh, for listen, sure. Wes, we will totally support <laughs> okay. that. I mean, we're gaining weight supporting this. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for hanging out with the Adam hey, Bomb Show, yeah. man. Hey, I appreciate it. It was great. Thanks, yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah.